I think you're going to see a rise of villains that are not only taking advantage of Fisk now being out of the picture, but you're seeing Peter face off against a villain like Mr. Negative, who is much more dangerous than he's faced before. Also, there's more of a personal connection to Mr. Negative because of Martin Lee. We talked a lot about how the best Spider-Man experiences are when Peter's world and Spider-Man's world collide. Having someone like Mr. Negative in the game really shows that coming to life. You're out, Norman. But you can't do this to me. I started this company. You know how much I sacrificed? What's going on guys, I'm Bidim Two Million, and Martin Lee is not the main villain of this game. Mr. Negative is not the main villain to this game. And Simonette has stated it, I've stated it in the past, many people have stated it on YouTube, if you did not hear it, now you have. He is not. And now we gonna get into why he is not and who is. Now, Insomniac has stated on a number of different occasions that the best Spider-Man stories are the stories where Peter Parker and Spider-Man's lives collide when things just go awry because the two are the same person. Within this game, we see that they may be setting this up for Martin Lee to serve as a perfect example of this. Within the trailer that we just received, it looks as if Peter Parker goes to Aunt May, he's talking to her, she's like, you ain't got no money, well how about you talk to Martin Lee, he talks to Martin Lee, Martin Lee says, Peter, you need some money, listen, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you this homeless shelter, I'm, I'm going to make you be the manager and I'm going to pay you to manage it. And that's how Peter's able to bring in Miles Morales. If you notice in the trailer, Peter doesn't go to Aunt May and ask, or go to Martin Lee and ask, hey, can Miles come help out? This is Miles, by the way. No, he says, this is Miles. He's going to be helping out. And he says that to Aunt May, meaning that Peter's already in a position of power. And also, we do get this line from Martin Lee within the trailer. Take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. This is a great example of Spider-Man and Peter Parker's lives colliding because on one hand, you got the man that's giving you money, allowing you to live, also employing your aunt, well, she may be volunteering, but employing your aunt. And on the other hand, this man is also the leader of a criminal organization. So uh, that's pretty evident of Peter Parker and Spider-Man's lives colliding. But there is an even greater example of this in the comics. I'm talking about a character that loses their life because of another character finding out who Peter Parker actually is. When Stacy was killed because Peter Parker could not keep his secret to Norman Osborn. Norman Osborn finds out who Peter Parker is and Gwen Stacy dies as a result. Now that's a huge example of this theme. And I don't think it's an accident that since the very beginning of this game being shown to the public, Norman Osborn's name has been seen. E3 2016, the announcement trailer, we saw re-elect Osborne. E3 2017, we saw re-elect Osborne. Then, at PlayStation's booth for E3 2017, there was a promotional piece of Spider-Man PS4. We saw the Feast logo, then we saw re-elect Osborne. This trailer, we got the actual press conference, re-elect Osborne. We also have a confirmation of Harry Osborne being seen within this trailer. There's a picture that houses Peter Parker, Mary Jane, and Harry Osborne. So I don't think it's a secret that we're having this marketing push of Mr. Negative and even showing the shocker, but not really touching upon the re-elect Osborne for Mayor thing, but the fact that we got it in promotional material for the game shows that this is something of relevance, that this is a story beat. And I think the story beat is gonna be the revelation that Norman Osborn is the one in control, in charge of this criminal empire, and he is, in fact, the mayor. Now, with that being said, I don't want to rule out the possibility of the fact that he has been the goblin in the past. We see that 
Spider-Man has been Spider-Man for eight years. This has been said by Insomniac numerous times. We don't have a mention of Harry Osborn, so perhaps the Harry Osborn goblin thing happened in the past. But I do want to really press upon the fact that Oscorp does exist within this universe and is seen in the Grand Central Station part of the trailer and that Harry Osborn is not even mentioned. Perhaps he had to do with the Green Goblin, perhaps Norman Osborn framed him, but I do think the Goblin fiasco did happen. Whether or not it had to do with Gwen Stacy is another conversation, but I do think the Goblin fiasco did happen in the past, and this is now eight years, seven years, six years, five years, four years after the fact. I also do think that Norman Osborn is going to be shown to be the big bad guy. I think that there is a connection between he and even Tombstone. And I, I'll make more videos about that. You'll, you'll see them. They'll pop up on your feed if you subscribe. But yeah, another thing worth talking about is the fact that Norman Osborn is the mayor. So he doesn't have a negative public reputation. You know, everybody knows of him as a good person if they elected him. Um, but that really means that if he was the goblin in the past that Norman Osborn did not get outed that Peter Parker more than likely does not know that he was the goblin because if he was the goblin and Peter knew that Peter would not allow Norman Osborn to become the mayor of New York City that would not happen so that's something worth noting again the fact that Harry Osborn is not here Norman Osborn has done something to be known as a positive figure so that people would elect him and Peter Parker you know he, he was like okay yeah he can be the mayor because Peter Parker didn't go against it he did not go to take out Norman Osborn because with great power comes with great responsibility he wouldn't he wouldn't allow Norman Osborn to be the mayor so I think it's something happened that allowed Peter Parker and the city to vote for him if Peter Parker even voted for him he may he may be that millennial that doesn't vote and I don't want to just sit on the Harry Osborn potentially being blamed for the goblin fiasco and now he's in prison idea I mean Harry could just be the CEO of Oscorp now Norman is the mayor he can't be CEO and mayor at the same time he puts his son in that position of power and now Harry is running Oscorp and that could be a reason as to why there hasn't been a mention of him as of yet with the little amount of information that we know about this game there hasn't been a really big mention of Harry besides the fact that he exists and he's in that photo with Mary Jane and Peter I was originally thinking that the scene in which spider-man saved somebody on a on an elevator shaft was him saving Harry and the piece of dialogue that Mary Jane says maybe the city needs our friend more than you think. Had to do with Harry Osborn, and that could still be the case. But I definitely think that Harry will come into play along with Mary Jane and Yuri Watanabe for them to figure out that Norman is the one in charge. Now, why is Norman the mayor? Why would he want to be the mayor? If he's the mayor, then he has direct control and communication with the public safety departments in the city. He has the information that could ultimately run a, a self-sustaining criminal empire. I think it's very telling that in the interview with IGN and Brian Entahar, he mentions the fact that now Mr. Negative is more powerful than he was before and that could potentially have to do with Oscorp if we look at the scene where spider-man is fighting mr. negative and some other some of his henchmen in this room this server room I immediately think of Oscorp because of the technological aspect of not just the server room but also of mr. negative you know I think that Oscorp has something to do with Mr. Negative, and I think that Norman Osborn being the mayor and also the previous CEO has a lot to do with that as well. Also, the devil's breath thing could have to do with that server scene. Maybe that Spider-Man confronting him at that location, and that location may be in Oscorp. I don't know. Now, would you like to find out exactly how I think this story is going to go? Well, guess what? You need to subscribe because I got part 
2 of my Spider-Man PS4 story coming up. And uh, you can't see it if you're not subscribed. I'm going through the entire story. Well, I'm, 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 make, I'm making it up. I mean, it's, it's not like I have inside information. I mean, I could, but you know, I, I'm, I'm not saying that I do. I'm, I, I, as Insomniac, no need to look at me like that, uh, or, or, or anybody else. Don't, don't copyright strike me or nothing. You know, I, I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm making it up. Uh, yeah, but. <laughs> make sure you subscribe and if you want to see some more videos on just spider-man stuff and i'm about to do some videos on some other video games as well subscribe to venom 2 million to have an unbiased unfiltered raw natural opinion can we just really acknowledge how disrespectful how disrespectful Respectful that man was for taking that sip of tea when my when he was kicking my man's Normans out. That was wrong. That was wrong, and that it was funny though. It was funny. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and uh, share this video around with all of your friends. Peace out. Venom two million out. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.